good morning happy Sunday the Sun is out the birds are chirping coffee is delicious if you have any cup of coffee or tea cheers here's a wonderful day uh, we're not gonna be out here for very long because <laughs> it's still a little chilly you know just a little you know what goes great with uh, coffee yep these cookies I've already had a few <laughs> while my coffee was brewing yeah <laughs> they're good Mm-hmm. Yeah, tomorrow is the first day of spring. So I hope spring gets the memo to show up. You know, don't forget. <laughs> I'm still on the chilly side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's warm up. And that's enough fresh air for today. <laughs> yeah, it's cold out there. Yeah, too cold. Even if you have fur. Yeah, too cold. <laughs> she said she's sitting on top of the freezer. <laughs> you got a good view from there. Alright, well that was our fresh air for the day. <laughs> Till it warms up a bit. Yeah, because like spring is tomorrow, so we want warmer weather, warmer temperatures ASAP. You know, like, let's go. Yeah. Oh, and it's like the sun, the sun's out, but that's deceiving because it's still cold. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> but pretty soon, yeah, we will we'll be spending more time outside. Uh, and today's our last day of March break. Tomorrow is back to school, back to reality, back to making lunches, which isn't fun, but <laughs> it was nice not making them for a week. And it was nice not having a schedule and having to be anywhere out the door by a certain time. You know, it wasn't the best of March breaks, obviously, because what, what happened with Taco and, um, yeah, kind of sucked this year for March break, but... And like, uh, we, we just stayed home because we didn't want to leave her, and plus the weather wasn't the nicest. It was cold, there was snow, and we couldn't go to the park. We couldn't, you know, go outside without a winter jacket, <laughs> you know, you know, like, uh, I did yesterday because I was shopping, and when I'm doing that kind of shopping, I'll leave my winter jacket at home because, yeah, I got hot later on. Um, but yeah, it was like, we couldn't even go to the park, we couldn't, you know, have a picnic, you know, it's like... Yeah, that was um, a cold March break. And before you know it, it's going to be Easter, and then it's going to be Mother's Day, and then the most important holiday of the entire year, my birthday. Yeah, <laughs> in May. <laughs> and and then it'll be, you know, and then school will be out. Yeah, school's out. And yeah, there, it's like, there goes the school year. Like, poof, gone. What school year? I know. And then it'll be summer, and yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. It, it just it goes by fast. It feels like a school year just started, but we're like almost done. Like it's crazy. So the boys are playing their their Lego, um, the Lego games on the PS4, Xbox. I, li I like those games. <laughs> those are the only games I could play: the Lego games and the Mario games. Okay, those those only ones. And even Mario is questionable because I know. <laughs> No, especially a Mario Kart. I freaking had to drive when I played Mario Kart. <laughs> I, I crashed into the wall all the time. But, but those are like you know the only games that I can play. And I think what, what what which one are they playing? Last night, Henry was playing The Incredibles. Casey was playing I think a Batman one or no the the villain one with like the Batman uh, with Joker and Harley. It's kind of like. Um, what, I forget what it's called. DC Villains. Yeah, and they actually kind of save the day. Yeah, so they were playing those ones. Those are fun. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Um, we'll see what we get up to today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take my time. Oh, I, I do have to go back to Dollarama because I did forget a few items. <laughs> I remember the parchment paper, but I forgot. Yeah, I forgot other stuff. Um, I want to get more rubber gloves, and I forgot. And Ziploc bags. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I was, like, you know, because of everything going on, um, I wasn't really in, like, 
the best mood to shopping like you know what I mean it's just I was kind of there but it wasn't and yeah and I, I forget I did forget my Dollarama list I grabbed my no frills list I even forgot something no frills so like a couple of things actually I know like like boomerang back to the no frills I go um and I grabbed my Walmart list so but I, I left my Dollarama because my Dollarama was still attached to my pad so but my other, the other two weren't, so I just grabbed them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> like it never, it never fails. Um, I do have to go back because I do want to grab just a couple more things for the boys for the Easter baskets. Um, just um, their favorite like chocolate bars, because I thought you know what instead of getting their favorite chocolate bar that's in the shape of a bunny, and spending like oh, I think like around oh, close to six bucks on the Arrow and like Kit Kat one. Um, I'll buy them a king size chocolate bar and then that's their favorite chocolate bar. It's, you know, like you pay that much just because it's in the shape of body. Now I did get them a couple because it's Easter and, um, I did get them a couple of good, you know, chocolates that I know they will, they will like. That is in the shape of Easter bunny, but it's like the good chocolate. Um, yes. <laughs> um, and I will probably go back because they have, they have lots. So I'll probably go back and grab one for us, but, um, Yesterday was just grab what I need for the kids and cross uh, cross that off my list and um but yeah because like and they're so like you know they're, they're hollow and they're so small and it's like I could just go buy them the king size you know for a dollar twenty five at you know um Dollar Tree you know for a lot cheaper yeah. Um, but it's a good thing I, like, I didn't because I wasn't sure what else I needed because um, I came home and I took a tally of everything I have so far and kind of organized everything and um, I forgot I got a couple of things. <laughs> you know when you shop really and like you know like I think I started seeing stuff like what like a month like last month in February and you know it's like you put it in the back, you, you tuck it away, and then it's like, oh yeah, I totally forgot I bought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I think they're almost they're they're pretty much done. I might I just have to get Henry a couple of things, but I think the majority of the stuff for Easter for them is done. I just have to get a couple of more of their favorite treats from Dollar Tree or Dollar um, and they'll be done. But yeah, but that's what I'm gonna do with like their favorite chocolate bar, just buy the king size. But I did buy them a couple of yeah. chocolate that's shaped um, an Easter bunny. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Alright, so I'm going to write that. Uh, but I did, yeah, I grabbed parchment paper and cat treats and dish soap. Oh, no, I did grab dish soap. Uh, but I did grab that, no frills, so. Okay. There's always something. Yeah, okay, but I have time, so <laughs> there's always next next shopping trip, you know, I'll be back, revolving door, you know, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, there was something else too, I forgot, I have to think of it. Down the health and beauty aisle. I didn't, because I only went down the aisle halfway, and then I remember, wait, and of course now I forget, it'll, it'll come to me. <laughs> Anyways, so I started my next book. Uh, I picked one from my reading pile upstairs. I have quite a few um, that have been sitting there for a couple years that need to be read. Um, so I picked this one, Kate Morton. Um, I do like her her books. They are good. The House of Riverton. Sorry, The House at Riverton. Um, I'm trying to get into it. I'm, I'm, I find it very hard. I don't know. Um, I'm done part one. It took me longer than usual. I, and I did finish Spare, and I, I loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, really, really, really good book. Um, I, I listened to it on audio. Really good. Just hearing his perspective, um, his thoughts, you know, um, it was just really, really interesting. And I, I feel for him. You know, I just want to give him, give him a hug. And, 
Uh, I, I don't think him and William are as close as I thought they were. Like, I honestly, I thought ever since their mom died, that, okay, you have to have a close bond. You have to be like, like this. I don't think they're like that. You know, they're, they're not like that. They, they're more like this, you know. Um, they probably talk and, you know, stay in touch, but I don't think they're as close as I thought they were. No. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, of course, you know, because William is the next in line, he's, he's here, so they are, and, yeah. But I just, yeah, because I just thought that, you know, they were all, they, they gotta be close, but yeah, I don't, I don't think they are. And they were, there was always that brotherly rivalry, you know, rival, and it's like, come on, like, stop competing, like, you know. Always trying to outdo the other one, yeah. And then at the end, he said he went to somebody who had powers, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he went to a psychic, and I'm like, don't, don't believe that, please don't go down that rabbit hole and believe that, okay, psychics get their information from the wrong person, okay, they're not talking to your mom, and like she said, she, she mentioned a memory, that happened at Christmas time when Archie, like, he, um, um, broke a bulb, I guess it was like a bulb, a Christmas ornament, um, on the tree that was, had the Queen's picture on it, and he, and it crashed, and it was just like, you know, accident, you know, toddlers and kids and Christmas trees, like, they don't go together, and the ornaments break, and, um, and they swept it up, and, um, when he went to see the psychic, she said, oh, your mom thought that was funny, and, like, She's not talking to your mom, <laughs> okay? <laughs> She's getting her information from the enemy, so, you know. Um, but heck. <laughs> that was the only part, and I was like, please don't, don't go down, don't believe that rubbish. Just, just don't. Like, there's no such thing as psychics knowing all this stuff. There just isn't, so. Just my thoughts, and my beliefs, everybody believes different things, but that's what I believe. Psychics get the information from the wrong source. Yeah, so yeah, so I finished it. I saw this one, and this one just it's kind of hard. Doing my best to get through it, but it's really hard. And I, I, I've read a few of her books, and they were always like really like okay, I can't put this book down, kind of book. Really, you know, like you had to read the next chapter, the next chapter. But this one is just I don't know. I find it kind of slow and you know boring, and um, yeah. And I think I've only one, I read one other one of her books I didn't really enjoy. So, I mean, I mean, maybe she's that kind of author. She can be a hit or a miss, you know? She can be really good or she can be totally the opposite. I don't know, but I'm doing my best. And I have another one upstairs by her that I have to read. So, hopefully that one's better than this one. We'll see. But, yeah. I'm on part two. Part one, like, this, this was all part one. I'm just starting part two. That was it, but it took me longer. I was like, oh. <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs> maybe part two. Maybe it picks up in part two. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna finish up my coffee, get some tea, and yeah, we're gonna stay going. See what we get up to. But it's the last day, so um, not much. <laughs> but tomorrow, tomorrow, I have to really like clean the living room because I haven't been able to clean the living room. The only thing I've done in the living room because like they've been home and inside, you know, um, come summer when it's nicer out, I can kick them out and clean. Um, but like when the weather was just, you know, it was just not nice this week. The only thing I did because it's a small house, small living room is the only thing I did was like vacuum. <laughs> vacuum and like pick up. That's it. I didn't get any like dusting or like you know really tidying up done you know so tomorrow yes the, the living room and i have a date yeah i'm gonna get nice and clean <laughs> all right so the next holiday coming up is easter so i need to find my easter decor which is all over the place in the basement <laughs> so i can start decorating this week and get that done and check off my list. Yeah, okay, I see a bag right there. And I see a bag <laughs> right here, <laughs> right here. Um, I need to buy a container from Walmart, but when I did, I did look at Walmart because I do need 
a specific size that they didn't have. Well, they they could have had it in clear, but I don't want to pay more. You pay more for a clear container, and I'm not paying more just because I can see through it. Okay, I don't need to be Superman to see through it. <laughs> so I, but they didn't really have any of the other ones that are like blue, and and the size I was looking for. So, because I do need two other containers for the boys' artwork, um, but yeah, I also need a container um, that maybe, 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 because I do have a lot of Easter decorations, I do have quite a bit every year, um, I find a few items. Uh, I don't think, I, I, this year is like probably the first year I did not buy anything. Last year I did, but this year I did not buy anything at Dollarama, I didn't really see anything. So, um, this is probably the first year, you know, knock on wood, I haven't bought anything. Knock on wood. <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't bought anything this year yet. So, uh, but I would probably need a little bit bigger of a container. So, and, um, I needed one last year, but did I get one? No, because I forgot. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm going to grab this one. And I see the boys' Easter basket. That's good. Okay, um, I don't really decorate for Valentine's or St. Patty's Day, but Easter, fall, and of course Christmas I do. I think one year, I think it was like during COVID I did, I decorated it for Valentine's Day, um, but this year I didn't really feel like it. Okay, what's in this bag? Oh, I got stuff right there too. Oh, yeah, okay, that's Easter. Okay. Everything is in bags. <laughs> That's why I need to get containers. So yeah. Alright. Might have to make multiple trips. Um, the basement has to get organized. But I think I'm going to leave that. That would be like maybe a fall time. Um, you know, clean up job. I think in the fall that will be done. Um, because we're going to be busy pretty soon outside. And I have to get back into spring cleaning. I have to clean upstairs. And... Yeah, that won't take long. I've been spring cleaning since January, so I'm almost done. <laughs> this is why I start early, spring cleaning, because it takes me a while, because I take my time. Okay. Um, that's not something else. And I think, what's this? Uh, nope, that's something else. Okay. All right. I'll bring this upstairs. I know I have a couple things upstairs and a few bunnies in my cabinet. So, all right, I'm just bringing it up today and then I'm going to start cleaning and decluttering. Well, cle clearing off the table for one. Um, <laughs> and I got to sit for the floors and clean the living room. So I probably won't start decorating until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. All right, so, so far, I think I have everything. I found these bags. Um, I have my peep lights in here. And there's a few decorations from Dollarama from previous years. And then I have stuff that gets used Easter morning. I put goodies in here. And... I got the grass. I'm kind of glad I didn't buy any because I, I was thinking about it, but I'm like, oh, I better make sure I don't have any. And I think I still have some in their basket. I'll have to check. So this may be a maybe I might use. I mean, I might need this I use, I use for decoration. Um, oh, wait, you know what? I might not because look at this one right here. See? I probably bought it last year and I didn't need it. Yeah, so this is stuff that's like I don't need right away. Um, but come Easter morning, I will need, so, but I'll, I'll put it up here, and that way I know where it is, and I'm not, you know, looking around the house looking for it, <laughs> you know, last minute. <laughs> all right, so that is all done. Um, I think that's everything I have. Um, I know I do have some bunnies up here, right here, and here. You can't see them, but they're they're right here. And, yeah, I think that's all my decor pieces. Oh, I think the only thing I might be missing is, okay, I gotta go check to see what that is. Is the placemats that I use for the centerpiece. Okay, that's the only thing. 
I'm gonna go back downstairs to see if I can find that. I think it's like a shape of an egg. Yeah, so. Um, Alright, but I think that's everything else. And I realized, hello from Henry. I realized the blue and the green plastic bunny. Obviously, their favorite colors. <laughs> um, I was just at Walmart yesterday, but I wasn't in the toy area. And I hope they still have some, because I usually put something in there. Um, I'll just, I'll, I can't say they, <laughs> holy will, yeah, I put that right there, in there, so hopefully, um, Walmart still has them when I go back, because sometimes at our Walmart, they disappear fast, so, but if not, I'm sure I'll find something else to replace it. Found them, <laughs> along with a happy Easter that ha Casey drew. <laughs> All right, that's that. I think I have everything, so when I'm ready to decorate, I could go bippity, boppity, boo. All right, so it's time to make dinner. Hello from Henry. And on tonight's Sunday menu is meatloaf. So I got about a pound of beef, and I'm going to toss everything else in and mix it. And yeah, put it in a dish and toss it in the oven. All right, so I need a slice of cheese. I also, if I have it on hand, will add a little bit of shredded mozzarella, just like that, just about like a handful. One egg. Couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Couple of teaspoons of milk. Half a cup of oatmeal. Uh, I like to add a little bit of honey mustard also. Just like a tablespoon or two. And then comes the messy part. <laughs> yes, mix everybody together. Everybody gets reunited. Mingle. There we go. There, now I have to find my pan. I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I put it in a little bit of a different pan, a square pan. I usually do a loaf pan. And I think last time I made meatloaf, I put it in a muffin tin. Um, but yeah, I'm switching it up. I put it in this. There's enough of the meat, so yeah. Put it in a square pan. Squirt some ketchup on there. <coughs> toot, you know. <laughs> you know, everybody toots, <laughs> even the ketchup bottle. <laughs> yeah, and call it a day. The day has flown by so fast. I cannot believe it is like dinner time already. Like, oh. And you know how, okay, you guys are going to be watching this when it's the first day of spring. Okay. Well, do you know how I know spring is just around the corner? When you spot ants in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. It's too early for ants. 
So I have to go buy ant traps next time I'm in the store. Usually I don't have to buy ant traps until maybe May, end of April, maybe, around that time. Never in March. So, yeah. Spotted a couple ants on the counter. <laughs> Squishy squish. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Order up. Meatloaf is ready. This is Casey's plate. I also did baked potatoes, but he doesn't like baked potatoes. He doesn't know what he's missing. So just meatloaf with ketchup on top and broccoli with a little bit of butter for him. Yum. Bon appetit. Here's my plate. Hello from Henry. I'm going to dig in. All right, let's uh, taste test. It does have crispy edges, but that's okay. We don't mind crispy edge. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Um, I did. Bye from Henry. Um, I did continue reading the book while I was painting my nails, and while I was waiting for my nails to dry, I read some more. I'm on part three. Part two does pick up a little bit, but it's still like um still hard to get into I'm trying to get through it so I can move on to my next one but yeah I don't know maybe it's just me um, just a little bit slow I guess and kind of picked up and then it slowed back down so yeah I'm halfway through it so hopefully I can finish it <laughs> yeah it's been a while since like I read a book I couldn't get into you know yeah I don't know, but I'll finish it slowly. <laughs> Alright guys, so thank you so much for hanging out with me and joining me today. I'll see you guys in the next fun video. Take care of me, bless. And as always, ta-ta for now. Oh. <laughs> A broccoli go juicy. Yeah, yeah, juicy broccoli. They're gripping on me. Oh yeah, I put butter on it. It could be the melted butter that's dripping. And there goes the broccoli down the hatchet. <laughs> Alright guys, ta-ta for now. Bye.